Dogs Biology here and this is for Combined Science Biology Papers 1 and 2 Higher Tier Predictions for 2024. So Paper 1, Paper 2. So Paper 1 is on Friday 10th of May in the morning and it's 1 hour 15 minutes and Paper 2 is Friday 7th of June p.m. in the afternoon which is 1 hour and 15 minutes. As you can see there's four weeks between each paper and I think paper one is probably one of your first GCSEs. Right, let's get started then. These are predictions. So predictions means that this is not necessarily what will come up. And I think I'm a great believer, well, I am a great believer that you should really do a lot of preparation. So when I say a lot of preparation, you do need to revise everything. You then need to revise everything. Then you need to revise everything. But there are other things you can do to help yourselves. And I'm going to go through those top tips with you now. OK, and then go through what was not in the exam last year. So firstly, per past papers, there is no alternative. OK, so when you've done your some revision, it's really important. Either you do some topic based exam questions or whole papers. You can do your own past papers at home. That's not a problem because you can go to doctorbiology.uk and there's a whole suite of exam questions from past exams that will help you. Thirdly, learn the keywords. Keywords come up all the time and it's really important you learn those. You can do the self-knowledge quizzes uh, on doctorbiology.uk. Fourthly, know your command words. So we mean describe, explain, evaluate, show, calculate. And again, there's a playlist on my website um, for YouTube um, related to the command words. And fifth, I always tell my students this, never ever give up. You should try every single question, even if you think you're getting it wrong, just do it. OK, particularly calculations, because calculations tend to be on different steps. OK, and you can maybe pick up a mark here or there, even if you get the uh, actual answers incorrect. So it's really important that I think um, that you never, ever give up. Right. So as I said, this is just a quick warning. These are predictions. Do not just revise these topics I'm going to tell you about. But these topics may, there is a greater chance that they may um, come up in the exam this year. Saying that, there may be a great chance of things from last year's exam coming up. So uh, they are only predictions. But this gives you a good idea um, of what to look for. So first of all, let's go through paper one. OK, so you'll notice it goes through topic, content and spec number. OK, and you can see um, topics. So eukaryotes and prokaryotes, they do like you to know the differences between plant and animal cells and also plant, animal and bacteria cells, for example. Um, mitosis and the cell cycle that did not come up last year. So definitely revise the different stages of mitosis. That would be useful. Transport in cells. Again, not a lot on transport in cells. So um, diffusion, osmosis is a required practical there as well. Um, active transport and gas exchange. So what we mean by gas exchange is, for example, large surface areas to increase the rate of diffusion, thin membranes for a short diffusion pathway. Thirdly, maintaining concentration gradients. So, for example, in the lungs and the blood, you've got blood circulation. So that maintains a concentration gradient. And then blood, talking about blood, Blood. Components of blood and functions did not come up at all. So that's quite a quick thing. You can revise all the components and what they do. Other things related to communicable diseases. So there was nothing on protists. So that's usually related to malaria and vectors and knowing how to reduce the effects of um, mosquitoes, for example. Um, human def this is a big one, human defense systems and vaccinations. So know your white blood cells, know about antibodies, know about vaccinations. What do they kill? How do they kill it? And then drug development, again, drug trials, placebos, double blind trials, toxicity, efficacy, side effects. That's a big area. Um, they could give you lots of data and information uh, for that style of question. 
There was a lot on photosynthesis last year, but very little on um, metabolism and responses to exercise. So things like oxygen debt and um, breaking down lactic acid. Paper two. I just moved myself out of the way. There you go. Paper two. So uh, we've got hormones in human reproduction. So the menstrual cycle, knowing FSH, LH, estrogen, understanding inhibition, stimulation um, and looking at testosterone as well. Contraception. If there is a question on contraception, it's probably going to be a data led question. So they give you lots of information and want you to work out things. If you're doing higher tier, which I think you are because you're watching this video, IVF. IVF is a big one. So looking at infertility and also fertility as well. So looking um, at questions that evaluate information. So looking at pros and cons. Feedback systems. So things about adrenaline, thyroxine, DNA and the genome as well. So DNA is always there. Chromosomes, genes, the human genome. Um, there was quite a bit on inherited disorders, but I would learn all of your Punnett squares and understand about recessive and dominant alleles. Sex determination did not come up last year, nor did things like biotic factors. Adaptations. Adaptations are dead easy. It's just common sense. Look at the picture. Make a decision. Why is it that shape? Why does it have spikes on it? Uh, it could be a plant or an animal, for example. And then um, really topical things at the moment related to global warming, maintaining biodiversity. So looking at types of pollution, air and water pollution is, are the big ones. And then deforestation as well, pros and cons. Uh, in tropical regions related to um, the use of timber. Right, this next thing is really important. If you haven't seen this video already, I suggest you uh, look at it. I'm going to put the address down below. OK, they can ask you some questions in paper one that are found in paper two and some questions in paper two that are found in paper one content. So you just need to be aware of what that content is. It's not a lot, but you just need to be aware of it. So you don't sit there in a in a paper two exam saying, why are they asking me about photosynthesis? I don't want you to be troubled. OK, I need you just to look at that video and know what's coming up. OK, so that's finally the bit from me. OK, so doctorbiology.uk is the website with all the information on it for GCSE and combined science biology. There's, there's even chemistry and physics past paper questions there as well. Um, and obviously it all links nicely to my YouTube channel. So please do subscribe. Please do share it with your friends. I wish you the very best of luck. You guys are going to do really well. You're going to be prepared. You're going to be confident and you are going to smash it. OK, go and do it. See you soon. Well done.